And as the country tries to figure when and how to safely reopen, the Labor Department is releasing the monthly jobs report for April, showing a 14.7% unemployment rate. And that's the worst since the Great Depression. ABC's Inez de la Quatara is in Washington with the latest. This morning, new numbers released by the Labor Department showing the worst unemployment rate since the Great Depression. 14.7% of Americans unemployed, 20.5 million jobs lost in April. Not having the, the financial income and you know, obviously makes things uh, troublesome with student loans and mortgage and uh, all sorts of bills. A record number of families unable to make ends meet. Food lines growing. Nine million children under the age of 12 suffering from food insecurity and hunger. Up to 10 million people still waiting for their stimulus checks. Your choice is do I pay my rent? Do I pay my bills? Do I feed my children? The president voicing optimism on Fox and Friends today and pushing to get the country running again. Those jobs will all be back and they'll be back very soon and next year we're gonna have a phenomenal year people are ready to go as millions of Americans try to figure out how to balance their health and livelihoods 44 states now easing restrictions even as the number of COVID-19 cases nationwide continues to rise now the trend of two to four percent daily increases is happening in rural and suburban communities and it's being focused on those areas that we consider essential like meat processing plants nursing homes Minnesota's Jay ABS pork plant shut down for two weeks after workers tested positive for COVID-19. Now back open following President Trump's executive order to keep meat processing plants open. If people can work from home, that's great. But a lot of agricultural jobs, you have to be there to do them. Health experts agree widespread testing will be key to safely reopening the country, but the White House insists. If we tested every single American in this country at this moment, uh, we'd have to retest them an hour later and then an hour later after that because at any moment you could theoretically contract this virus. So the notion that everyone needs to be tested is just um, simply nonsensical. Inez de la Quatera, ABC News, Washington.